This tutorial will cover the layout of your GNOLD program. Please start by opening the GNOLD program. Once it is launched, you will pay attention to your tabs along the top. First is your file menu. This is to open your images, save your files, preview, and print options. Next is your home tab. This is your selection tool, primarily move, used for moving objects. Your undo and redo. Add micro font tab, 10 fonts included. Your add text tab, which is your additional 130 fonts if the upgrade was purchased. Text select is for editing text that you've already applied to the working window. Copy, cut, paste, and delete from clipboard options. Your zooming options. And then display as far as ruler, hoop selection, slow redraw, and your 3D simulated view. Following along the top, your first icon to the right is your registration of your software. The second, the question mark, is your help tab. This is your quick reference to your instruction manual. Last is about the information of your product. The next tab is modify. When selected, please notice that what changes is the ribbon below your tabs. Your selection tool, your rotating and flipping options, your range as far as justification of objects, grouping and ungrouping, and moving the sequence of the design. Next is your view tab, which changes the ribbon. First is your displaying options. Second is your settings. The last tab is help. This is a quick reference and shortcut of help as far as the icons located to the right of the screen. You can also immediately go with an internet connection to your GNOLD catalog. Recap, help, view, modify, and home. Below the ribbon, you will find your color palette. To the right, your color palette options. Delete the palette. Add additional colors to palette. The last icon to the right is set the background color. Below the color palette, you're going to find your properties box. Once your text and object is applied to the screen, here is where you'll find the properties for any alterations that you may need to make to your text.